This is Eat Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of Destiny by me, Flooded Mon 14. Alright, hey there guys, how's it going? Flooded Mon 14 here, and we're back with some more episodes with commentary. So let's load Flooded Mon 14. There we go. Let me turn this up just a little bit. It sounds a little low to me. It's probably fine, but yeah, 44 is good. Um. So in the last, let me check the view too, Ooh, looks good. The last couple episodes you guys should have saw kind of a small uh, dueling marathon. I uh, don't know if I'll split it up into several parts or uh, just, you know, a couple of the big long, you know, hour long parts. But uh, yeah, check this out. As you can see here in the new section, at the very end of that um, uh, dueling marathon with no commentary, uh, we were basically unlocking uh, Odeon and Ishizu, and I actually got this card out of it, and I was really surprised because I hardly ever get any good cards from Triple Duels. But yeah, I think I picked the... Well, you guys can see it on the recording. I'll double check to make sure, but yeah, I think I picked the Ring Dragon of Raw statue, and we got this, man, like giant Trune, like, wow, like this, you know, with all the trap-heavy strategies, Giant Trudy is really good, and it also will combo with stuff like, uh, let me switch to our main deck here. Uh, Giant Trudy will also combo with stuff like, you know, you can combo with Snatch Steel, you know, switch a monster to attack mode that's weak, and then bounce everything back. You can combo with Premature Burial. It's just so good. And, like, also, it's really good with Chain Energy, because let's say, you know, you have Chain Energy on the field, your opponent has a few traps, and you've got Giant Trunade. Well, you can bounce everything, you know, make them pay the points all over again. Feels good, man. Feels good. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah. So uh, I went ahead and decided to do that first off screen. And um, so I, anyway, um, let's go to single duel. And we're going to start, as we see, we have Odeon and Ishizu unlocked here. And I, I guess I'll mix it up and duel them in between. But uh, we want to duel Yami Merrick. As I said a couple episodes, I just love the theme of him so we're gonna we're gonna do a couple you know <laughs> the shadow game begins fool all right let's do it oh man i love i love the music in this game so again i don't know you know there's not a certain amount of like duels we want or anything there's no certain cards we want you know what i mean we're just gonna you know kind of chill together relax and just listen to the great freaking music man and you know my commentary like i'm not even gonna you know try to focus on it and be like, oh man, this gotta be the best commentary of all time. No, bro, like, it doesn't even matter. We're just here to enjoy the game, man. Alright, Legendary Ocean, Legendary Fisherman first turn. Feels good. And, um, Rush Recklessly won't even work on him, so I think that'll do it. Kill ahead, Yami Merc. Wah -ha -ha. The hunt begins for your soul, you fool. Face down monster. Probably a flip monster. Uh, speaking of good cards uh, you can get from these guys, you know. Oh, there it is for the first time. Waha, I love it when my opponent falls into my trap. Yeah, there's Gravity Bind right there. So, pretty interesting. Now, normally. Uh, that would be bad, but uh, we happen to have Mystic Space Typhoon in hand, so let's get that right off the field. Now, I think Yami Merrick has like two or three Gravity Bind in his deck, so yeah, unfortunately, even if you get past one, it's not going to be, you know, the end of things. So, ah, okay. And I thought he might have a flip monster face down, so that's why we didn't go with Sea Snake. But uh, yeah, speaking of cards, I guess at some point in these episodes with commentary, I can go over a, a few of the, you know, uh, notable cards. I, I guess that's a good idea that you can get from uh, these guys. Uh, I can go over a few of the cards you can get from Yami Merrick, uh, Ishizu, and um, Odeon. So, but, you know, for now, let's just kind of just kind of kick back and duel, man. We're chilling out with the crew in the schoolyard. <sighs> Sorry, I had to take a drink of water there. All right. Yes! Ooh, and we got Magic Gemmer and Sinister Serpent. We got Fact, though. Alright, well, we'll set, uh, Case of Cyber Jar. Or, 
uh, morphine jar will set a couple cards face down. Fisherman should be able to get it. Spear strike. Oh, it was a horse trader. Wow. Surprised we haven't seen a flip effect monster yet. But uh, yeah. And in fact, like since we haven't seen one, I don't know. I might I might stay cautious and keep Sea Snake in my hand. And... Sure, he's already down to six thousand. We're good. Let's keep it in our hand in case something bad happens, like a dark hole or a Raigeki. Then again, he might not Raigeki. I don't know if the AI accounts for uh, Legendary Fisherman's effect or not. Hmm, we shall see. We shall see. This music's so great, man. And it really fits, like, the, uh, you know, the whole, like, ancient Egyptian, you know, kind of theme, the vibe, you know, of, uh, you know, ancient Egypt and, you know, the whole, you know, the whole of Yu-Gi-Oh being a mystery, you know, what, what do the Millennium items really do, you know, and where, what does Destiny really have in store for us, man, like, shh. Man, this seems so good, like, bro, I wish this theme would have been, like, almost wish it would have been, um in the uh in the anime somewhere it, it's that good man the, the theme versus yami merrick here i mean what do you guys think agree disagree I, I it's that good let me know down in the comments below be sure to like comment and subscribe hashtag shameless plug hey nothing wrong with it man we all gotta get our bread all right the volume still seems a little low for me i don't know let's uh let's turn it up a little bit there we go, how's that? It's a bit better. Flip summon Slate Warrior. Get the 500. All right. How much you wanna bet now he's got Cyber Jar? Now that, now that I'm going all in here. Fairy Box. I mean, we could get really unlucky with Fairy Box too. Just depends. Another Vorse Raider. That should be all of his Vorse Raider, right? Should be. Uh, let's check. Yeah, wow. Deja vu. I'm, I'm seeing triple. Nope. No chain. Nothing. Mm-hmm. So, with Rush Recklessly, I can only get to 31. Well, let's just tag. I guess I should have summoned this turn. I don't know. I was expecting more shenanigans by this point, though. That's why I haven't been going all in. Ah, how can I let you hurt me, okay, you fool? Ha ha ha, but I wanted you to attack with Alice. For now, I play Metal Reflex Slime. What's he gonna do here? Just another monster. Just another day in paradise. That's not even a song, I was just kind of... <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. Alright, Sea Snake Attack. Ah, there's the flip. Okay. Took him a while, but he finally got man eater bug. That's a little more of what I was expecting. Uh, interesting, he targeted uh, Legendary Fisherman as opposed to Slate Warrior, who's got the most points and can still attack, so definitely an interesting choice by the AI there. I guess it didn't really matter, but. Yep. Go, Slate Warrior. Start him with a clean slate and wipe him off the pavement. <laughs> yeah, cut an attack. Ah, oh, let's see, so we're at nine minutes. Wow, you may have escaped from the darkness this time, but you can't avoid the shadows forever. <laughs> if you say so, you crazy haired man. Let's pick the Winged Dragon Raw. Not really sure. Yeah, I don't really think there's any cards we really want from Yami. You know what? I was just talking about this. Let's do another one. <laughs> the Shadow King begins, fool. Yeah, I don't think there's really any. Well, I don't know. Let's just let's just start reading some of the cards. Let me let me scoot my computer closer because I've got the uh, I've got like a text document pulled up on my laptop. And of course, this is just from like a game facts thing I found online. So if the card locations are wrong, you know, eh, sorry, but I didn't exactly make this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's set a couple cards here. Well, wait, wait, wait. Let's see if he's got Duster. Let's just set Tornado Wall and that's it. Uh, so, let's go down to the new section with Yami Merrick here. Okay, according to this, 
from the top of the statue, you can get... Looks like you can get many... Okay, so he's got two face downs on a face down monster. Okay, no surprises there. Uh, let's play Grateful Charity. Let's see if he's got Magic Jammer. It's just like GX, let's bait out the Magic Jammer. I spell, you fool! Yes, the spell card. Ooh, Legendary Ocean, good. And I, I almost want all these cards, but... Uh, we'll discard... Believe it or not, I don't discard Snatch Deal, because we got Magician of Faith, so that's no problem. And it's between Widespread Ruin or Pig One Soldier. Sorry, Widespread Ruin. You gotta go. Let's see if we can bait out something else. I activate a legendary ocean. And I actually have Tornado all set, right? This is really good. Very good hand. Okay, so I'll flip some slate. Okay. Good. He didn't dust her, so now we'll set Call of the Haunted. In case it's Morphin Jar. Okay, slate attack. Let's see what flip monster he's got. Mm-hmm. Number two, number two. Okay, so this is gonna shuffle up the cards. Uh, while it's shuffling, let me see. So from Obelisk, looks like you can get Maneater Bug, Magician of Faith, uh, Vorse Raider. Uh, you, from the uh, triple nine, the first triple he's in, you can get Nightmare Wheel, which that seems like a pretty good card. I didn't even know that card was in this game. Um, uh, you can get Earthshaker. Uh, let's see, main phase two. I, I don't think I've summoned this turn. No, I have not. I think I checked that. Let's go with... Well, he does have lots of Warsh Raiders, usually. Let's go with Sea Snake. And it's like, oh, just a ward off Warsh Raider. What's that? Oh, that's fine. Call the Hondu. Not a problem. I've got that card, too, buddy. Uh, let's just... Nope. Let's not play Tornado Wall yet. Draw life points are in danger. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Earthshaker. Needle Ceiling. Wow, really? Oh, but that's in a, at a much later tier. That's it. Uh, uh, well, it's kind of spoilers, but I'll, I'll go ahead and spoil it. You can get Needle Ceiling, at, according to this, in the Obelisk statue at Tier 12. Uh, Ryoku at Tier 12. That, that sounds about right, because Ryoku is pretty busted. Um, confiscation at Tier 12. Wow, wow. Uh, but then again, I wonder if Delinquent Duo is in this game. And the Reliable Guardian, which isn't nearly as good compared to the rest of the cards we read off in Tier 12 from Obelisk. Uh, from Slifer, uh, yeah, I mean, Mary, looks like you can get most of these cards we already have, yeah. It's really the Tier ones that... Ah, he did have Wars Raider, good. That we don't have. So from Slifer, Yami Merrick, you can get. Uh, let's set Ping One Soldier here. Ping One Soldier. So from Slifer, you can get Mask of Darkness, Magician of Faith, Cyber Jar. So yeah, we've we already have all these cards. Uh, Gravekeeper Servant, Jar of Greed. Infinite Cards is new from the Slifer statue though, so that's one to keep an eye out for. Uh, and then in the triple, ooh, Magic Jammer's good. Keep him off the dark hole. Okay, so uh, let me get a drink here real quick. Let's see, let me make sure I select his monster. There we go. Okay, we'll attack with 4,000 this turn. Um, so from the, uh, like I was saying, from the Slifer statue, the triples, you can get uh, New Doria in triple nine, which we actually did get, so that you can also get Swallowtail Spike Lizard, which was actually the name of uh, Granadora in the anime. Uh, it's a flood card, a uh, water attribute card with uh, 1900 points, and when it's summoned you gain uh, 1000 life points, but if it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, uh, you lose 2000. But a good way to get over that is to like tribute summon it. That's really good. So I, I, I really do want the Granadora now that I see that it's on here. Triple nine it says, so I might go for that honestly. And the Slifer statue. Garma Sword Oath, triple nine. And then Garma Sword, the ritual card itself, says uh, triple twelve. So there's that. Uh, Wing Dragon of Raw. Uh, looks like you can get Gravity Bind, which I think I'm, I am still looking for. Uh, which makes sense, because he does play Gravity Bind a lot. So you can get Gravity Bind, Premature Burial. Oh, wow, Delinquent Duo. You can get from the Raw statue. <laughs> That's crazy, but you might have to um, beat him at a later tier to get duo. I mean, because Delinquent Duo, that seems like way too good of a card. Uh, but yeah, Gorse Raider from Raw, Man Eater Bug from Raw, Ring of Destruction from Raw, that's awesome. And uh, so it looks like you mostly want to pick Raw here for the new cards. Morphing Jar 2 from Raw, 
Luka Luka and Change of Heart from Raw. Um, so let's see. Oh, there's a bit of glare on the screen there for a second. Uh, looks like it's gone now. Huh, yeah, that was weird. I don't, I don't know why that glare was there. Why was that glare there? I remember that used to happen with my old phone all the time. But, uh, and it would stay throughout the episode. Luckily, like... Let me, let me just check the recording real quick. I mean, it looks fine to me now. Hmm. It was just while it was on the, uh... The, uh, Duelist Select screen there. And we'll go with, uh, Tomatola. And I really want to keep Magic Thorn. We'll set this. Try to bait out the Typhoon or the Duster. Okay, so from the triples in Raw for Yami Merrick... Looks like you can get... Oh, also you can get Change of Heart from uh, Merrick and Bro. I don't know if I said that or not, but that's definitely a very good card. I don't know if we have that yet in this game. I don't think we do. So, yeah, definitely Raw is the way to go. You know, if this guy's correct. I mean, it might not be, so... Uh, interesting. I had open board, and you didn't uh, attack me directly, so that just tells me that's some kind of flip monster. Okay, you didn't dust her, so let's go with Ocean, and I'll set Magic Thorn. This has definitely got to be some kind of shenanigan here. Because why would you not attack me directly after Dark Hole? Plus you wasted Dark Hole on one monster? It's kind of a waste, bro. I mean, Magic Cylinder? That's fine. That's only at a K. Like, pfft. what are you doing, buddy? I love it at the moment when my opponent falls into my trap. Wah! Okay, so... So, from the triples in Raw, it looks like you can get New Doria again if you pick the Raw. You can get Coffin Cellar, and that is a signature Yami Merrick card. That's That's got Yami Merrick written all over it, so that's cool. Coffin Cellar, you can get Destruction Punch, which that's odd, but okay. You can get, uh, and these are all in uh, triple nine. You can get Bottomless Shifting Sand, which that's a very interesting card. It's actually a pretty good card. Um, we'll play, well, 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 let's see what his flip monster is first. Main phase two, I'll probably go with Fisherman. Lost Dark Hole. Ah, Cyber Jar. Okay. Okay, so... Well, I probably should pay attention here for Cyber Jar. Yeah, let me pay attention here. So, uh, what did I say? Yeah, Bottomless Shifting Sand. Yeah, that is pretty good card, honestly. Uh, it destroys the monster with the highest attack. Uh, I think it's during your opponent's end phase that does that. And if you have uh, four or less cards in your hand in your standby phase, it destroys itself. But it it stays on the field. It is a continuous trap. It stays on the field if you have, uh, well, let's just say which here. It stays on the field if you have five or more. So, yeah, which, it, it's, that's kind of good because basically it lets you, uh, oh, he's probably going to get Dark Hole back here, huh? But, uh, yeah, yeah, that's good, uh, Shifting Sand is because it basically lets you, you know, you know, decide like, oh, okay, if your opponent has only one strongest monster, just like, oh, okay, I'll get rid of it. But uh, uh, if you want to keep it, you always have the option. So there's that. Uh, main phase two. I didn't really pay attention to the spells and traps he got. Well, I know he got back Dark Hole. Let's play Fisherman. Let's see if he plays Dark Hole. I have Fisherman. I'm very curious. And I don't know if he got, like, Duster or not. So let's just end it that. I wasn't paying attention to his spells and traps. I probably should have, but... Uh, anyway, from the Raw, you can also get Visor Shock. That's a signature America card. It looks just like uh, Visor Deaths, so... Ah, he did play it. Okay. Even though I have Fisherman, that's interesting. We'll play Solemn Wishes. Uh, yeah, so Visor Deaths from Triple Nine. I mean, Visor Shock from Triple Nine, not Visor Deaths. I don't think Visor Deaths is in this game. Uh, Magical Labyrinth, Triple Nine. Uh, uh, Granadora, Swallowtail Spike Lizard, again, at Triple Nine. Uh, Dark Snake Syndrome at Triple Nine. That's a very interesting one. Dark Snake Syndrome was an interesting burn card. Uh, you really have to kind of plan around it, but, you know, if you play it right, um, you can definitely win in about five turns guaranteed with that card, if you play your cards right. Uh, let's go with Witch Attack. Okay, Lost Slate. Okay, we're going to shuffle up. Yeah, plenty of time to read, I'm sure. Uh, let's see, let me scroll down here. Dark Six Syndrome, Blind Destruction from Raw, and Triple... Now, this is 12 and higher from here. Blind Destruction. Uh, Michi Zure, which definitely isn't as good as these other cards. Uh, Final Destiny, that's interesting. Uh, from 12 or higher. Mirage of Nightmare, Man, that's a good card. From 12 or, or higher. Uh, Metal Detector, that's, that's odd. What? Metal Detector, that card sucks. And Toll. 
from uh, 12 or higher. So, yeah, some pretty interesting cards. Looks like, um, for our purposes, we really mostly have all of the cards, except for the ones in Raw. Like, I guess for Yami Merrick, we want to keep picking Raw, go for a duo, go for um, Change of Heart, and then, like I said, maybe do some duels with him in the triple to go for Grand Adora for the Flood deck. Oh, yeah, definitely go for Gravity Bind. Because, uh, as I've said before, I actually want Gravity Bind over... Um, I want Gravity Bind over Tornado Wall in this deck. So, honestly, I think it'll perform better. And plus, with uh, Legendary Ocean, our cards will be level 3 or less. So uh, Now, speaking of Gravity Bind... I wonder if he's got a gravity bind. If he does, not gonna do him any good. Fairy box, that's just as good, I guess. So he's got only one face down, I don't know. Hmm. Should we go all in? You know what? Our hand is pretty stacked here. And he's got no no flip effect monsters on the field. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll try a black pendant first. Let's bait out the magic jammer. Okay, pendants. No magic jammer, good. United we stand. Divided we fall. Oh, smell hard. Yes, sir. There we go. 4,400. Sweet. All right, let's do it, guys. Let's start with Slate, because he's the weakest, oddly enough. Oh, we lost Mystic Space Life, and that sucks. But our field's full. Well, he's going to survive regardless. I think he blocked the damage, right? It seems like the AI always calls heads for a uh, very box, I guess. Because it seems like whenever he gets tails, he takes damage. I don't, I'm not sure, though. They could call whatever, and just it's just, you know, I have no idea. But yeah, he called, I guess, he got hits twice there. Blocked the damage. Man, we're getting really unlucky. Okay. Well, maybe not completely unlucky. We did the most damage with our highest monster, so that's pretty lucky, yeah. But I definitely would like to get to... Uh... Yeah, those cards. Oh, yeah, and also Ring of Destruction is in Raw. Yeah, I'd definitely like to get that off of Yami Merrick. I'm pretty sure we don't have that yet. Ooh, and he didn't do nothing. Yeah, see, this is part of the problem. Like, a lot of people say Yami Merrick's too hard and stuff, but check out the situation here. He's got basically a redundant continuous. Uh, Gravekeeper Servant, Fairy Box, which, yeah, Fairy Box is oh, okay. It's doing its job. It's helping him a little bit. But, like, look here. Like, let's say... And, and we don't know what's in his hand. But, like, let's say he drew Raigeki this turn. His field is locked. So, like, um, a lot of the times when uh, when I'm playing Yami Merrick, you know, just by myself, oh, we lost Duster, that sucks. But uh, a lot of the times when I'm playing Yami Merrick, like, he'll lock himself. Like, you know, you know, as you see here. And, honestly, basically, if you can play until he locks, you know, field locks himself off of the spells and traps... You basically win every time, so I don't really find him that difficult. But, you know, if you are playing like a standard... <gasps> the Link with Duo and Gravity Bind, let's go! And Morphing Jar 2. Well, wow. those are some pretty good cards. Oh my god, wow. Um, well, uh, for once you guys get to see my genuine reaction, and uh, <laughs> hell yeah, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe it. I have to show these beautiful cards. Let's let's check it out. And I usually do this in the ones without commentary, but yeah, check this out. Delinquent Duo. Pay a grand, randomly select and discard one card from your opponent's hand. Then your opponent selects and discard another card. That is very good. And Gravity Bind, hell yeah. All right, so we'll definitely put both of these in the Flood deck. Uh, yeah, probably put these in, well, I don't know, probably not Gravity Bind in every deck, but Oh, oops. Uh, no, no, no. Here we go. There we go. Also, I think that's my... Yeah, because it, it says I can add Morphing Jar 2. Ah, so I only had one before. Okay. Okay, well, I'll probably put it inside. Yeah. And I think... Uh, no, wait. I'm on second deck, right? I think second deck has two Magic Thorn. Yeah, it does. That's very good, actually, for my second deck. So, yeah, let's put this in the main deck in my second deck. There we go. Yeah, so, man, we we scored big, man. Gravity Bind, Jar, and Duo. And I needed the second Jar, too, so that's awesome. Okay, so for the Flood deck, let's uh, let's just kick two cards to the side. So I threw in Gravity Bind and, um, Gravity Bind and Duo. Um, I'll probably kick Tornado Wall to the side. Yeah, let's just do that for, well, 
yeah, let's just do that for now. And Delinquent Duo, um, I'm sorry, Black Pendant, you are highly outclassed here. Highly, but I do appreciate it, though. That card's helped me win a lot of duels, but, uh, yeah, compared to, Delin to Delinquent Duo, uh, adios, amigo. <laughs> All right, well, that was a very good... I'm so glad I decided to do this as a bonus part. That was awesome. And, uh, well, I guess uh, the list here that I was reading from the fact, uh, uh, from Game Facts, is uh, maybe it's pretty accurate because we got a couple of the cards that were listed there. So, and I'm so glad we did. You guys got to see my genuine reaction. So, that's awesome. Awesome. Well, anyway, um,. Thank you guys all for joining me. Uh, we're going to do one more part with commentary. I'll probably just do like Ishizu once, then Odeon once, you know, kind of talk about cards you can win from them. And um, if we got any more time, I don't know what else we'll do. But uh, anyway, yeah, look forward to that next time, guys. So I'll see you all next time. Have a good day.